Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land, and I hope you are having a fantastic Thursday. Brent and I are here for another exciting list video here on the channel, and today we're going to be talking about the five upgrades we want most in the Return to Dream Eaters, which should hopefully be announced any day now. Uh, it's been a while since we've had an update, and maybe we'll see it soon, but if not, we're getting this uh, shot in right under the radar. And then hopefully we'll look like absolute geniuses when some of these cards are included in there. Wouldn't that be nice? We'd be like, wow, they're so smart and clever. And who would have seen it coming? We did. Um, one thing they do now in these uh, return twos is they add new cards in a, like they, like in addition to upgrades. I hope they continue that trend because it'd be nice to get some new cards. But otherwise, we have some upgrade uh, cards that we want upgraded here. So Bryn, I'm gonna throw it to you for your number five. What do we got? This one's not so much a wish list as it is just like, I'm always excited to see what the new untranslated mm -hmm. card will be. Uh, although it is, I will admit that it is possible that there won't be another Dream Diary upgrade. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think they're all, it's always cool to see what, the, see what they do, what they've come up with that's different than the ones that already existed. Yeah, the new design space for it. So we have... Shroud, hand size, and enemy. What do you think the last one could be? I mean, like, it could be Nega hand size. Yep. Like, yep. Uh, you know, hand size, but it's it, the color palette is inverted, and it's a bad guy now. <laughs> yeah. It has a mustache. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, buffs you for having less than X cards in your hand. That'd be kind of like, sick. Like, Because the other one is... Is it four or more, or is it six or more? I don't even remember. I don't even know. Uh, I think the other one is like six or eight. It might even be eight. Yeah, I think the other... It would be cool if the other one it's was like number. four or less, and then they kind of like, you know, there's this like sweet spot right in the middle where you don't get the bonus, but you can have both and just like have it like always be active. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be cool. It also would be cool if there was one that was like... Um, no, nah, never mind. My thought... I was going to say if like if uh, there's an investigator at your location, but that like is... Also pretty just not that exciting, but... <laughs> Behold, it's Minty Fan on a book. Yeah. <laughs> it's even, even stronger than I was before. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see if they do have a new one for that as well. I think it'd be fun to see and kind of expected, but who knows? Yeah. Um, my number five is Practice Makes Perfect, mostly because I know Travis would have wanted it on the list. Um... Moment of silence for Travis in the comments, everybody. Um, but I don't know what an upgraded practice makes perfect would be because as we were making this list, Britt and I were saying a lot how the level zero versions on a lot of these cards are just like good, right? Um, this is why like, for example, like Spectral Razor and Read the Signs didn't make my list because like the level zero versions are just like really nice. And while the level zero version of practice makes perfect is really good, why don't we just like make it so that you also get a draw card. <laughs> <laughs> As an additional cost to include practice mix perfect in your deck, bond it with a practiced skill card. <laughs> ooh, ooh, could you imagine? Just get uh, Replace search your deck with search your bonded cards for it, the mm -hmm. bonded skill card. There was, um, on the Patreon, we were making uh, custom investigators based on all of us, and the Travis... Uh, that I proposed was pretty much that design. You basically are just a walking <laughs> practice makes perfect. Like, tw practice skill. Tw tw <laughs> shooting them out of your hands. Yeah. Uh, Alright, cool. What is your number four, Brent? We got the Dream Enhancing Serum. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I want to... I would like to see changed about this one. Just, like, more hand size matters, please. Yeah. Yeah, because... Uh, like it's, I don't like. I don't even like. That's the thing. Like, I don't know what it would do either. Yeah. Because maybe it is maybe really it just good. like gives you gives you plus one brain during the mythos phase yeah. if you have X or more cards in your hand because you have used the uh, dream enhancing serum to expand your mind. I mean, it would also actually kind of like even though like it kind of also does this like just make the dream enhancing serum even bigger. Your own, the first copy counts towards your maximum hand size, but your maximum hand size is also reduced by uh, in, increased by two. So like you can literally hold your whole deck in your hand. Yeah, I think that would be neat. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that would be... I think the, the I think the brain thing is, like, the most sensible thing, and that's actually, like, a... Not a priority upgrade, but, like, a good enough upgrade that it's just, like, passively nice. Yeah, maybe it, like, also costs two or something. Yeah. It, that could be good for someone like Norman Withers, right? Because you need to put level zero yellow cards in your deck, and this card's already probably pretty, like, fine for, like, a one-of. I know you have to use yeah. your spell slots, but... Yeah. Maybe the upgraded version is purple. Oh, yeah, that actually... That would be really fun if we saw some cross uh, switching between them. That could be really cool. Oh, I hope they do that in one of the boxes one day. That would be fun. <laughs> upgraded, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But they upgraded I think, that's, uh, I think that's some really cool design space that they don't exploit as much as they could. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, because when the Holy Rosary 2 came out, that was, like, pretty exciting, right? Yeah. Um, I'd love to see more of that. And I think a purple Dream Enhancing Serum is a cool idea. And it also then kind of fits with the potential um, purple skill stuff we have building up in there. It's neat. Uh, my number four here is Tetsuo Mori. I think the card's really great. And I would love to see an upgraded version that simply... Uh, this one's pretty simple. I want them to soak for more. Like a three and a two or a two and a three or maybe a three and a three. And I would love them to also just have the backpack treatment and go up to, like, 12 cards. I just think, like, <laughs> I'd love to see an upgraded version of him that's really only necessarily, like, really beneficial in, like, a Tommy Muldoon deck, right? Um, but I do think that, like, the flavor with Tommy and I think all that and the soak that he can provide, I think it'd be really cool. It might be too strong, obviously, but we're not here to balance. We're just here to shout our opinions into yeah. the ether, yeah. right? I think an upgraded Tetsu Amori that would be cool is one where he's red now. Yes, okay, yeah. And, like, his badge has stopped a bullet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that would be sick, yeah. This is the new game we're going to play. We're going to do the cross-class upgrade for each of them. <laughs> I mean, you know what actually would kind of be sick, too, for Tetsuo Mori? If he just, when he upgraded into red when he was defeated, he also just shuffled into your deck. Like, the card text was the same. But, yeah. like, maybe he costed two when he shuffled into your deck when he was defeated. He just keeps coming back because he, too, is a survivor. Mm -hmm. I think what well, the real problem is, though, right now is, is we're, like, we're dropping, like, a, a whole other list video within this list video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep this train going. What is your number three? We got Scrounge for supplies. And this one, I don't want to just see upgraded into one card. I'd like this one to be upgraded into, like, five cards. Are you going to say exactly what I was about to say? Um, I'd like the level 1-1 one, one to return level 1 cards to your hand, and yeah. the level 2-1 to return level 2 cards to your hand, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that would be kind of neat. Uh, unfortunately, it would also consume like all of the survivor card slots yeah. <laughs> available. Yeah. Uh, so there is that. Uh, so spoiler alert, this is pretty much what I'm going to be talking about. I think on the next, uh, for my number two, but scrounge for supplies. And I was thinking exactly that. I think, I feel like, uh, for proper balance, they should remove themselves from the game afterwards. Um, like, but I agree exactly that. I would love to see a level one version that grabs a level one card, a level. And like, if I had to choose like one of them, I probably would want the level one version. Cause I think that's where a lot of juicy survivor cards live. Like just being able to grab back brute forces as like a Tommy Muldoon can be really nice. Um, but, yeah, that's exactly what I, I was going to say, so. Sweet. Uh, my number three here is self-sacrifice. Um, just because I think that uh, this, this one could have a pretty easy upgrade, and it just needs to follow the leadership route where both of you get to do it. Is it good? Probably not. But is it likely going to be a potential upgrade they can take with this? Yeah, I think so. Just you and the Performing Investigator each get to draw two cards. Is that worth one experience? I'd try it out, right? There's probably <laughs> something you could do that could be fun with it. I just think that this card is... One thing that I've liked about the upgrades they've done is that they've sometimes focused on things that need a little boost. And, like, I'd love to see, even if it's not in the return to, just, like, a self-sacrifice improvement one day so we can get a little bit of love. Yeah, I think this card is already pretty okay in Calvin, mm -hmm. yeah. but it's, like, pretty bad just about every place else. Yeah, <laughs> and, like, it's it's fine that those cards exist, right? Um, 
But why not give Kelvin a yeah. bit more love so you can actually do some other things with him too that's not just soak with Peter. All right, Bryn, what is your number two? I gotta let God sort him out. This card is like, uh, I don't want to call it unplayably bad. Mm -hmm. Because somebody will attempt to contradict me and they will be wrong. But uh, <laughs> I would like to see this card get the uh, on your own treatment. Or we get an upgraded version that is permanent mm -hmm. and just like you place resources on it as you kill enemies. And then at the end of the scenario, you get a reward based on how many how much uh, how much health worth of enemies that you killed yeah. Uh, yeah obviously the threshold needs to be pretty high because yeah. that would be notably stronger than this card mm -hmm. admittedly this card is like bad um yeah i mean e even on this on this line that you're talking about like even just like a permanent version kind of like even if it was like costed the same as like sharon's oval but it doesn't have downside right like if it was just yeah, one and yeah, exceptional, right? like, and you, you just... gotta mix, you gotta do some work to make it happen. But the trade-off is that you never actually just get gorped for yeah. no real reason. And like it's, you can only still like earn one. If you do it once, you place a resource on it at the end of the game. If there's a resource on it, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know how. I'm, uh, I'm not here to balance the game. Yeah. <laughs> But I think it would be neat to see Green get some uh, some ways to cheat the resource cost or the experience cost on their cards mm -hmm. that aren't Sharon's Sharon level. Yeah, because that one's not so much fun when you're playing with other people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I also like uh, to go to the thing that uh, you were saying earlier, Bryn, how you don't want someone is will might contradict us and say. No, this card's good. I've, I played it in Mark Harrigan once, and it was bad. It was. It's still just. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody made a spreadsheet of all the scenarios that have single enemies that can fulfill the criteria because that's pretty much how it has to happen. Yeah. Uh, like it could, you could cobble it together some other way, but it's going to be way more worth it work than it's worth at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not very many. Yeah. No. Uh, my number two here is scrounger supplies. I pretty much said everything I was going to say previously. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. That's I don't need to say it again. I just think that Bryn's idea was exactly what I was going to say, and I think that'd be really fun to see. All right, Great let's minds. finish. Oh, sorry. Great minds, Justin. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now let's go to our number ones. What is yours, Bryn? I got the Crystal Ezra of Dreams. Uh, I don't actually care if they upgrade it or not. I just love this card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More of this would be cool. Uh, doesn't matter what it does, even if it's like, you pay one XP and it costs zero to play now. Like, sure, whatever. Great. Good. Yeah. I will actually, I will buy that and I will put it in my deck and Travis will get mad at me because it's not worth an XP <laughs> and I won't care. But yeah, you want it. You want it. Um, yeah. Even if, even if the only thing they give me for the upgraded version is like stronger jellyfish that are going to try to take their egg back harder. Like, fine. I'm good. I'll do it. You think I won't? Yeah, I got because there's there's a lot of text on this card, so it's like what could this they add the to it, right? But like, let's theory craft like what it would what they would add to it if they could, right? Like, like realistically, it's probably just like either can store more events yeah. or like when you commit events out of it, you get to add a pip that's already on them. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's that's the realistically probably the best thing here yeah. for that. Yeah. If they if they did choose to upgrade this i don't think that i really don't think they will because it's already you know Brilliant. if you're playing it's this in your if you're playing it in your deck it's going to be there until the end of the campaign yeah yeah but even just like an upgraded version would be fun too because then it's like you get to spend money on something and you're like i'm i'm helping i'm doing my making my deck yeah. better yeah even if uh this one gets an upgrade that is in a different color yep that would be cool. I'd love to see um, it in uh, in going back to Mystics. I think it could be very fun yeah. in a Mystic deck. Mystics get a lot of events that commit for brain symbols. Yeah, like that would be kind of sick, right? Yeah. And if it's as long as, as long as it's not yellow. 
It's, oh, no, no. Yellow yeah. doesn't need anything. No. No, yellow doesn't need a goddamn thing. <laughs> Um, my number one here is fortuitous discovery, just because, like, I, I want to, like, actually, um, put money, experience into this card, and then, like, probably still regret it. Um, <laughs> I just think that this card is just, like, a little bit clunky, uh, and if they upgraded it to one experience and added a book symbol or a wild symbol, oh my god, <laughs> it actually can, like, do something outside of... Um, Ashcan Pete, Wendy, and uh, Patrice. And, like, those cases, like, yeah, it could be good, but it's still just, like, it costs three, or it costs two, right? Uh, which is a pretty, it's, like, a fair rate, but you had to do all this work to get those cards in your discard pile. And if you could just do it while doing other things, like, you want to see, like, this card in, like, someone like Min that actually can, like, take advantage of the good book and then maybe, like, do something with it and i'm not looking at min being like i can't wait to play cornered <laughs> i don't even know yeah i think i think cornered's just is cornered two or three i don't even know corner corner does two yeah so it's like but like you look at that and you're just like that doesn't excite me right and like i want to be able to play a card like this in someone like min or in as well like maybe if if the true daryl simmons ever gets released and he is survivor seeker as everyone seems to predict um, it would work really well there for him if he had, like, some sort of way to commit this to cards. And I just think that this card is just, like, almost there, but it's missing something to make it good. And I would love to see an upgraded version of that. And the nice thing about Myriad cards is they upgrade so XP efficient, so, like, you don't even need to put the level 0 in your deck, because the level 0 is pretty, uh, not great. Trust me, I would know. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, to everyone who has watched it. If uh, you have any thoughts of cards that you want to see upgraded when we return to Dream Eaters, which is hopefully, fingers crossed, very soon we at least get an announcement and some spoilers, let us know in the comments down below. In addition, consider liking and subscribing to the video. We would love to have you uh, and, you know, just have you hang out with us on the channel because we release a new Arkham video every day of the week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.